In this section, you'll learn how to create your own Substack publication as well as how to get started. Start by going to the Substack.com homepage. Click the button that says Get Started. You can connect your Twitter account if you'd like, or you can skip this step. Add your email address. Add a profile picture. Give your publication a name. You can customize your subdomain. This is the URL that people will use to find your Substack. You can always change the name of your subdomain later. If you're bringing in a mailing list from elsewhere, you can import it here using a CSV file. Otherwise, skip this step. All right, you're all set. We're gonna head on over to armadillos.substack.com, which is the URL that you will give other people to find your publication and customize a few things. This is your coming soon post. It's just a default post that we give people so they have something to see. You can always edit this post if you'd like or delete it entirely. Most of what you'll need is going to live over on the dashboard. On the post page is where you'll be able to create new posts or discussion threads, as well as see stats for each specific post that you publish. The subscribers page will show you your total subscriber list once you import or add new subscribers and be able to see a list of their names. And the stats page will give you information about traffic to your website over time. All right, let's head on over to the settings page. So we filled out some of this information already. Uh, you have your publication name, your one line description. You can add tags, which will help people discover your publication. And you can customize your about page. The about page appears on your Substack publication on the drop down. And just gives people a little bit more information of what you're about. The thank you for subscribing email is what people will receive after they sign up for your newsletter. We have some boilerplate information here, but you can always add a little bit more information if you'd like them to, for example, check out your archive of past posts. You can add a publication logo here, which is separate from the profile photo that you added earlier. You'll now see that your publication has this logo. Finally, scroll down to publication details. Here you'll see your email sender name, which is what people will see when you send them emails. You might also want to customize your email opt-out page. This is the page that people will see if they unsubscribe from your newsletter. You can always give them a little bit more information uh, if they, you want them to follow your work elsewhere. And that's it. There's a bunch more in here that you can go through and customize, but these are the most important parts to get started. If we go over to your homepage, we'll now see your uh, coming soon post as well as your custom about page.